Hi, my name is Sarah Bellette. I'm at Monash University and the ARC Centre of Excellence in Mathematical and Statistical Frontiers. And my talk title is Maths, Medicine and Mosquito Sex. Would you leave all of this behind and escape to a sunny tropical paradise if it meant that you had to spend that time with a serial killer? I'm not talking Jack the Ripper here. We're going far more deadly, dangerous and annoying. Mosquitoes. The Aedes aegypti mosquito is like me. It loves warm temperatures and being around people. And also like me, being in a room with them is often described as simply maddening. But where we differ is that they're deadly, spreading the dengue virus to humans when they bite and causing dengue fever. As we all know, the world outside is still getting hotter. But what you may not know is that there's a lesser known deadly disease outbreak happening right now. Dengue seasons are getting hotter, longer, more severe. We're already seeing the deadly consequences of climate change. In 2019, that was the worst year for dengue on record and we're on track to beat that in 2020 already. It's a race against time to defeat this deadly disease. But I have hope that we can turn this entire situation around by appealing to the carnal instincts of these little monsters. And so that's why I'm using my maths to look at mosquito sex. Now, I know better than anyone that you don't often hear the words maths and sex in the same sentence. But biologist friends and I are studying the spread of a naturally occurring bacteria called Wolbachia. Usually we think of bacteria as a bad thing, but this stuff is life-saving. My colleagues discovered that when mosquitoes carry Wolbachia, they won't pass the dengue virus onto humans when they bite, protecting us from dengue naturally. But Wolbachia isn't spread between these little critters by them not washing their hands properly. They need to inherit it from their parents, just like how I inherited the ability to get sunburnt on a rainy day. So my task is to know when mosquitoes carrying Wolbachia are having sex with ones who don't carry it and who's passing it on to their kids. To do this, my colleagues visited sunny Queensland with very high-tech Chinese takeaway food containers. Not a joke, they actually used to use these. In these containers were the eggs of mosquitoes carrying Wolbachia so that they could hatch and then mingle with the local mosquito population. But how do you know once every single mosquito finally has Wolbachia? Well, you can't. Your best bet is to make predictions. And so this is where I come in with my maths. I got the data that my biologist friends created and used this to make a mathematical um, program, sorry, a computer program called a model that replicated the sex lives of thousands of mosquitoes. I don't have a TV, so this is how I get my fix of Love Island. This program um, tracks each mosquito from egg to adulthood, tracks who they have sex with, where their kids end up, and then rinse and repeat for the new generation. It tells us how Wolbachia spreads through a mosquito population over time. I then use my model to investigate the effects that climate change might have on the spread of Wolbachia. As is the case of science, it isn't always good news, but I have hope. I have hope that my work will be used to make decisions about how to stop dengue in its tracks, and I'm buzzing to try them out. Sorry, I've been itching to make that joke. Thank you.